from city streets to mountain peaks. On this episode, we'll be checking out a tote bag designed to handle it all. This is the simple all-terrain tote bag, coming right up. Hey, what's up guys? Apa kabar semua? This is Jin from Ori Bags and we are all about product videos and tips to help you carry better and make better purchase decisions. So if you like what you hear, do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button for me because it would really help us grow the channel and create better content for you. Simple is an Australian-born idea but raised in Southern California. And like many brands, Simple was born out of a need to have that one bag that can do it all. From the beach to the office, mountain peaks to city streets. Their bags are tough, built really tough, but carries a modern urban look. But honestly, right, I don't think anyone in their right mind would carry a tote bag up a mountain, right? Simple is all for sustainability as well. And something that really resonates is their philosophy that sustainability starts with creating products that are built to last. It's simple, right? Simple philosophy. And I really love that. It's not just about getting materials that are um, recycled or environmentally friendly. What's the point in all of that, right? If the products barely last a couple of years. So it's really about creating products that can stand the test of time, products that stay with you for decades. So today we're going to be checking out an all-purpose tote bag that is designed to weather any storm if you dare. And as many of you may know, I'm a tote bag kind of person and I've been using this bag for slightly over three weeks now and I've got lots to share with you, right? So let's dive straight into this. This is a beast of a tote bag. This is durable, this is tough. And the best part is it holds its structure very, very well. And what I really like about this is that it has got a wide enough base for it to stand on its own, loaded or unloaded. And this is an important feature for many people. Now, this is definitely not one of those frumpy tote bags that slumps down the minute you drop it on the floor, right? This bag stands upright and ready to go when you are. Now, a self-standing feature like this could make or break a purchase decision for a lot of people because just one small difference like this can greatly improve the overall experience of the bag. Right, let's check out the aesthetics of the bag. Now this tote is designed to be office ready. It's full featured, which I will cover all the features shortly. And it carries well in a professional setting and tough enough to just move on outdoors. The design plays around the different material textures and blocking. And so far, this bag only comes in one colorway, which is black. And at the bottom center over here, you have a very understated, minimalist, simple logo. The material is made of X-Pack VX21, which makes it abrasion and water resistant. I mean, I'm sure you guys need no introduction to X-Pack. This bag is durable, and I love that I do not need to be overly careful with it when I use it. The last thing I want to do is to worry about my bag. Now, over on the sides over here, both sides, you'll find two layers of loops, debossed with the simple logo. Now this area, I presume, will be great for looping chains, carabiners. Now so far, I've never used this feature. So if you have, please let me know in the comments below what you've used it for and if you found it useful. Over on the sides here as well, one side here and one side here, you've got two slip pockets. I'm gonna put my hands in it. <laughs> and just to know, for you to know, these slip pockets are tight in space, right? So they aren't exactly designed for your water bottle, a large water bottle, unless it's a slim memo bottle or maybe a small water bottle. But don't worry, they have a larger water bottle holder on the inside, which I will show you in a bit. We have a luggage pass-through right here, and I love how thick this pass-through is, and it fits beautifully over luggage handles, and it's so sturdy. So I recently went traveling with this bag and it was really such a breeze. Okay, next we have the quick access front pocket. Now this is a very generous front pocket. As you can see, it's very deep and it's big enough to fit an A5 notebook or even bigger notebooks if you have. Now let me just show you with this book positioned horizontally and vertically um, as a good uh, size gauge. All right, so putting it horizontally, this is how it looks like. Hope you can see. And putting it vertically 
so you can get a size gauge. All right, hope that helps. So the zippers on this bag are YKK AquaGuard zippers, both on the front compartment and on the main compartment as well. So they are very durable, weatherproof of course. Next, these handles. Guys, can we just talk about these handles, right? Now, when making a good tote bag, you gotta make good handles because these handles will carry the weight of everything here and it will rest on one side of your shoulder, right? So it's gotta be comfortable. So these are very sturdy and tough straps, right? And I do like the feel of it in my hands, it's got a good grip. And I always go for totes with handles that are long enough to loop my arms through over my shoulder in one single move so that my elbows don't get caught on the back like this, right? But of course, with longer straps comes another setback, especially if you're short like me. So I'm five feet two, and if I'm carrying this bag with my arms down, it tends to scrape the floor when I'm walking. So it's a user problem. So in my experience with this bag, the handle feels great to the grip. Fantastic, so durable. But I do find myself kind of wishing for a slightly wider handle. Why? Look guys, this is a 20 litre tote bag. When fully loaded with all your EDCs and just having it being carried on one side of your shoulder, it can put quite a strain on it. So slightly broader straps could help distribute the weight a little bit better. Now, another thing that I wish Simple added is just an anti-slip um, anti -slip lining just around the handles over here at the top. I've got small shoulders, so it's really annoying when my bags keep sliding off my shoulders. So an anti-slip lining, I think, would really, really help, right? But this is just my preference. What do you think? Comment below. Right, time to check out the interior of the bag. Now, I love the interior organization of this bag. It works very well for me and my everyday work essentials. Like I said, I've been using this for three weeks now and this is my work bag every single day. So, it, so far, it's worked really well for me. Um, let's check it out. Okay, so over here, you have a very well padded, let me just switch it over this side, a very well padded compartment for your laptop. So it fits up to a 16 inch laptop and it comes with a magnetic closure as well. Uh, very common these days with uh, bag designs. And I'm gonna get my 13 inch MacBook and I've actually placed it in a sleeve so that I have more protection since it's a smaller laptop. And I'm just gonna show you how my laptop together with the sleeve would fit inside this compartment. So it's just nice fit, right? Let me just show it to you guys. Over here, we've got two slots for your pens. I've got pens over here. Let me just show you how this all fits, right? Very nicely, very neat. Just two pen slots. And over on this section, we have a magnetic key clip, okay? Over here. Now, I've got a question for you guys. I've been really curious uh, to know how many of you actually use the key clips found in your bags, right? Let me know uh, whether you do use it or you don't. Leave it in the comments below. We're gonna show you the internal water bottle holder, the one that I was telling you guys about. So, um, you can see there's actually a handle over here. It's very easy for you to find. Love this handle because it just makes it really easy for you to just grab and pull open. Now, there's actually a magnetic closure as well, just in case you don't need to use it. You can just pop it back, right? And one thing to note is that this water bottle holder is not elastic, so it's not stretchy. However, however, it is really big. Okay, I would like to demonstrate to you guys. I've got a one litre, uh, fairly white based camelback bottle over here. And I'm just gonna show you guys how this fits in this water bottle holder and to be honest right even with this white base you still have like at least a finger width space still around the bottle so yeah it's really big and don't worry you'll definitely be able to fit any large water bottles in this bag. Over on this wall of the bag, I love the organization here. It's so simple, yet so purposeful. Sometimes people uh, over-accessorize, but I like it when they dial it down, but just make it like, you know, um, purposeful for the user, right? So we've got two large slip pockets over here, and these pockets are large enough to fit in my A5 notebook. So I've got a notebook over here. I'm just gonna show you how this all fits got a notebook and I've got my planner as well, okay? 
So it fits in beautifully, in fact, it's just the right size. And they actually call this the padded phone and sunglasses pocket, but of course you can use it as you like it. And over the pockets, you've got another two small mesh pockets, not mesh, one is mesh and the other one is not. The other one is padded as well. So I'm just gonna show you how it fits with my power bank and a passport. And it fits beautifully. Then we have this main space over here that's very roomy, so much space. Now, let me just show you what else fits in here. I'm gonna throw in my tech pouch, my trusty Tula Power Shuttle Plus. All right, so it fits in the side here. I'm gonna throw in my Kindle, a couple of magazines. Always gotta have reading material when you're on the go. My jacket. I'm gonna put in the water bottle, a small water bottle. And throw in my pencil case as well. As you can see, it's still got more room at the top here. But let's just zip this all up. And voila! 20 litres in a tote bag carries so much. You could so easily pack for work, the gym, uh, for an overnight stay even, or anything else that you can think of. Alright, so see these attachment points over here? Right? So soon you'll be able to buy a detachable shoulder strap and carry this tote like a messenger bag. Right? So again, these straps will be sold separately. Well, there you have it. That's all you need to know about the simple all-terrain tote bag. I hope you found this video helpful. Now, as a person who uses tote bags all the time, I've pretty much converted my work bag to this, right? And so far, after three weeks, I don't have much complaints about it, only that it scrapes the floor when I hold it down, right? But that's more of a user problem. If you want to shop this bag or check out other simple products, you can visit our website, which is oribags.com. Or if you're in Malaysia, even better, come and visit our retail store. And that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Uh, we'll try to just let you guys see. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> okay, insert, insert, insert.